Oh my God, how exciting. My last candle, you guys. Perfect amount of wax. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries on this Vivian Tries. We're bored as hell. So we're gonna make candles. We're starting that side hustle because this thing that's going around is not about to take us down because you're eating everything. <laughs> so today we're bored. We're gonna make candles with shit I found around the house because those Instagram videos showed me how. Ta -da! I bought these at Dollar Tree. We're gonna make a killing with this side hustle business. We're gonna call it Vivian's Repurposed CandleCompany.com. And this is my first three products. This one is going to be hot cocoa. This one is going to be a strawberry milkshake. What do you think this is gonna be? It's gonna look like a lime margarita. That's what they have in the video. But I couldn't find a lime candle. But I had an apple one. That's close enough. It's green. We're limited on supplies because of that thing. And I can't say the word because you guys know YouTube's gonna demonetize that shit. So we're gonna call it the fungalitis. <laughs> we're gonna have to cook some stuff. We're gonna have to pour some hot stuff. Let's open up the video and watch it together to refresh my memory because I don't remember what kind of nonsense I'm about to get into. It looked easy on the video. It better be easy. Which one did I say? Let's start with strawberry milkshake. Don't you think? Now for the strawberry milkshake, I didn't find a pink one like they have in the video. I'm gonna be the experiment so you guys know if you need to follow the actual steps or my steps. I'm saying this is a glass. Why can't I just put this in the water, right? And just boil it in here, melt it in here. Same thing. I also need to save the wick because I don't have wicks. We gotta repurpose these. They add flavoring. This one's already flavored. After they melt this, they just pour it in to the cup. Then they leave a little bit of wax behind and then they're gonna scoop it up with one of these to make it look like a scoop of ice cream. How cute is that? That's an ice cream. How freaking cute is that? Here is my little, I'm nervous, okay? I need protective gear or something, don't you think? Here's a pot of water. So I'm gonna put it on high, wait for that to boil. Then I'm gonna put this in there. Is that dangerous? Somebody tell me. And this is glass like a glass bowl. In total, we're gonna do three candles and this was the easiest one. So that's why we're starting with this one too. Cause we might not make it to the other, <laughs> we might not make it to the other candles. Are this too much work now, girl? We gotta produce a lot. And if it's too much, then I can't. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy doing nothing. I'm scared to have this. Should I hold it? I don't want to hold it the whole time. That's too much work. Okay, ready? Got it. Hopefully this melts pretty fast. I don't know if I can have the bottom touch. Can I? I think this is allowed. I saw a lady on YouTube melting a candle kind of like this, but I don't remember if she just held it. Can I just put it down? Why not? Oh my God, there it is. Look. <gasps> don't touch it. I'm going to touch it. Wait, I want to see if it's melting yet. Oh, I think it's melting. See? Oh, this is going to work. You guys, this is going to be a good business. Let me see. See the bottom? I set it down and I put on my gloves because my hands are getting tired. I think it's okay, right? I did turn it down because it started boiling. I thought by now I could like pour some out. Should I make holes? Yes. Because that way I can pour some out. Oh, here it comes. See? If I puncture the sides, let me show you. I'm so smart, you guys. Y'all didn't know. See, I'm going all the way around. I just put a napkin down just to catch anything that I'm probably gonna spill. Okay, get ready? One, two, three, go. Yes! This is a great idea, you guys. Look at that. Do you think it's gonna dry in layers? I can't have that. I'm gonna scoot the, the stuff on top out because it's soft. Because I need this wick. I'm almost to the melted layer. Ready? Go. Yes, go, 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 go. I need more. I need a wick. How am I gonna turn on a candle without a damn wick? I'm gonna have to dig it out of here somehow. This is what we have to do when we're running out of supplies. I should be able to cut it, right? It's a mess, okay? This is just gonna be a messy job. There's nothing else to do, so go ahead and try it. Oh, there we go. Did you see it? There's my wick. <laughs> okay, we can save this for another candle because I don't think I don't think we're gonna use it yet. So let's go ahead and insert the wick. See? Okay, but you gotta stay straight now. Don't make my shit look crazy. Another napkin. Is this too hot for me to hold? Actually, it isn't. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three, go. 
Oh, right there, it's right there, it's right there. Put this back. Oh no, I wanna leave this out of the water because once this starts cooling off, I'm gonna scoop it. I bet the other two are gonna be super easy because I think I have the hang of it. I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the white one in there. We're gonna color that one brown with a brown crayon like they did in the video. So that one can sit in there for a minute. Still nervous about that setup, but <gasps> what y'all think about this? Girl, multi-billion dollar business <gasps> from her home. I don't know why I keep holding it when this was a little trick they did in the video too. Hold that wick in place. Motherfucking professionals. That's what you can call us. Hustlers even with fungalitis out in the air. What if we melted a whole bunch of crayons? Could we do the same thing? We just have tons of crayons. Crayons are cheap. Somebody tell me in the comments. Let's see. Oh, yes, look at that. My stuff is gonna be so good, you guys. <laughs> I think I could probably make like three more candles. Now you get your scooper. How am I gonna clean all this wax off of all this stuff? I'm not gonna throw this away. We're gonna make our scoop. Ready? Oh no, I got stuck. <laughs> no? Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. Just let's tighten it up a little bit. Call me a candle artist. Once your water is already hot, just turn that to like low and then just start the next candle so that it is ready. By the time we're done with this one, boom, immediately jump to the next one because we got a production line going now, folks. Now let's just go around the side like we did for the other one. You guys saw in the video, they have the hand blender. So they can whip this up and make it like whipped cream for your hot cocoa. Let's pour some of this in here. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. Now we'll melt this with the crayon and then we'll separate a little bit more out of here to make the whipped cream. So let's do this one first. Where's my crayon? So in the video, they just took the crayon, put it in there like that, voila. Now we need to put the hole through the ice cream. Oh no, it's stuck. Look. Oh. Do you love it? It's an ice cream. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, you guys. I can at least sell these for 30 bucks. Now what we wanna do is we're gonna put a hole right through the bottom. Look how super easy that is. Are you gonna do this? Are you gonna try? Melt some shit. It doesn't fit. My, <laughs> we're gonna have to cut some pieces off because I want it to fit in there. Oh, this is coming along, you guys. This is a one man operation, but it's gonna be good one. Wait. <laughs> That's not looking that cute now. <laughs> it doesn't look as good as in the picture. Okay, let's see. It is melting nicely. Whatever color brown it comes out, it's just gonna have to do. So I've taken my melted wax off of the stove and placed the white wax back on there so that we can do the whipped cream next. Let's pour. Mm, nice. Actually, no, I needed more. I'm happy with that. Oh no, I forgot my wick again. <laughs> no? <gasps> Got it. Grab this guy again. So we're just gonna place it in there. Guy right there. I didn't show you guys this in the beginning, but I have a piping bag just like they do in the video. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the water so this one will start melting while I finish this guy up. I wonder if I have to wait a little bit. I don't think so. I'm just gonna do it like this. Nothing's happening, it's too hot. I don't know how smart it is to be whipping up hot wax. Huh, it's not very smart. Don't do this part. Wait till it cools down. It's been sitting there for five minutes. Not really, like three minutes, but let's try it now. Okay, I think that's good, right? I don't know how I'm gonna get the wax off. <laughs> that's pretty freaking good. Genius. I want all the whipped cream in there. It looks like legit whipped cream. Oh my God. Who knew that I had these kind of skills? Here we go. Oh no, it looks ugly. That's not good whipped cream. I'm not using the right piping tip, but that's okay. This is the one I could find. Oh, did someone order extra whip? Now the cinnamon stick, the final piece. It's a beautiful thing. This one is our margarita, which 
takes ice cubes and I didn't have one of those silicone little trays so I'm just gonna put them in aluminum foil and then cut out ice cubes. Same thing. Okay, this green one took me twice as long to get out of that jar than the other ones did, but it's out. Now let's cut the wick off and then melt all of the green candle together. I found the wick. You guys may have noticed this in the video that they're not actually using this type of wax. They're using some kind of like gel wax, which I'm like, who the hell has gel wax at home? I didn't have time for all that, so I figured this was gonna work just as good. Oh, I do wanna add some additional colors in there to lighten it up just a little bit so it kinda does look like a margarita. I have to do the trim. They did that in the video. And the way they did that in the video is they took one of these like tea candles and then they like, what is this? I don't know, shredded it to make like the salt for the margarita. <laughs> Look at that. It goes around the rim of our glass. So we're gonna just dip. Okay, then come over here and dip it here. Get that salt. Maybe I needed more. Maybe you should shred a little bit more than I did. And you can't dip it again because it's gonna melt the white. I love it. Okay, that's dry. See? <laughs> the rim is done. Now I will dip this in the wax one more time to get a little bit of that wax. Just sit it right in the middle, like that. Okay. Just pour a little bit for my ice cubes. I've set aside the ice cubes. We'll let those cool off and then we'll finish this off and start pouring. It is all melted and ready to pour. Oh my God, how exciting. My last candle, you guys. Perfect amount of wax. Now, if you wipe off the wax, while it's still hot, it's gonna be a lot easier to clean. So this is gonna take a minute, but how good does that look? This is solid enough for me, okay? So we're just gonna flip it out of here, cut it into <laughs> ice cubes or into cubes. <gasps> okay, now cut. Well, wait a second, don't fall. Oh no. <laughs> I might need a cutting board instead of this damn plate. Oh, they're still a little bit soft in the middle, but that's okay. Yes, <laughs> ice cube. <laughs> okay, couple more pieces. And then this one, ice cube right there. It's not perfect, but it'll do. We got a couple more pieces. Vivian, who are you, girl? Nobody knew. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh my God, my shit looks so good. Ta-da! Here is Vivian's repurposed candle company. I'm gonna have thousands of SKUs. Let me know how much you wanna pay for these. They're not as good as the ones in the videos, but they're pretty damn close. These we're gonna call artisanal. So they're supposed to be a little bit like, like a kid made them. <laughs> That's what gives them that unique, one of a kind feel, and you can charge a lot more. Now, I personally love this one because it's too good. Look at that. The second one is my margarita, and then this one is last, because this is kind of basic. Okay, let's light them, because that's part of the whole candle company thing. It's a success. Maybe I should have cut the wick a little bit. It's just gonna last you longer. We did it 17 hours later, but we got three beautiful candles. <laughs> Oh my God, my favorite, my second favorite, my least favorite. I still love them all, they're all my kids, but how good. Now, if you decide to do a DIY project while we're in quarantine, take a picture, tag me on Instagram or Facebook or on Twitter because I need to see your creations. I need to see them, so you guys need to make some too. Cause side hustle, baby. Was it easy? It was easy, it's just time consuming, but it's totally worth it when you see the results at the end. And I really did not think that I was gonna be able to do this because those videos are so silly that you go, yeah, right. 
Nobody's gonna get that result at the end, but I'm gonna say this is pretty damn close. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me. In the comments down below, let me know if you've seen a viral video hack that you would like for me to try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.